Hello and welcome to another update video about COMP. So hopefully nobody is surprised by the strong drop that we've had on this chart. We've been waiting for that drop of COMP. Um, bigger picture, I warned about this chart many times and it could be that we get another rally in a C wave over wave two. Yeah? And if you like to, you can explore this area down there. We're going to zoom in in a minute. But it is, in my opinion, high risk yeah, because the price, um, the price, the price could already have topped in wave two. So anyway, it's a bearish setup overall, this chart. It has so far not given us any evidence that it's getting back into a lifetime uptrend. It is a lifetime downtrend, topped in three waves in 2021 and broke down in five, as explained in the last few videos. The rally that we were waiting for was potentially a wave two. Um, we already completed the A wave, the B wave and the C wave could still be extending. Okay. For various reasons. It could be that, and that's just unclear. Okay. Um, first of all, we need to understand that the ABC structure could be complete. So the wave two has fulfilled minimum requirements. It did. Okay. Even though it would have been a very shallow wave too, it fulfilled minimum requirements because it rallied in a three wave structure. The C wave ended above the A wave. If we zoom in, you can see that. Yeah? That top here ended above the last one. So it fulfilled a three wave structure and that means it could now already break down in a third wave. We would have clarity about this below $30. If a break below $30 occurs, I would expect new lows. What would be the target? Well, it could go eventually uh, yeah, down, downhill, downhill, downhill. Um, I can't really give you a target. I mean, yeah, I would say first one I would be watching for is the $10 level. Yeah. That's also the 61.8 extension, but it should eventually go much lower. Yeah, 259 and maybe even 30 cents. I know it sounds ridiculous, but bear in mind, that COMP dropped from $850 to where we are now. Okay, so nothing is impossible. It's basically a, it's basically an all-time downtrend setup that is likely to continue. And yes, we can get a more significant rally, absolutely. But in these bearish setups, these strong rallies are never guaranteed, especially if the rally would be a corrective structure as already explained in previous videos. yeah. So only corrective structure in a wave two, a three wave move yeah, can rally. Well, it can rally, but it would be against the higher level trend. Therefore, it can be quite short, can also be more aggressive for risk management purposes. I would always assume it is rather shallow. Now, it could of course be, it could of course be that this ABC structure that we've seen was part of a larger A wave. Yeah that we're now coming down in a larger B wave and will rally once more in a C wave. This is sort of a bit of a hopium wave count. Uh, I have currently no evidence that it's doing that, but if it if it turns around before it breaks below $30, it could, yeah, it could. Because we've been waiting, uh, well, I communicated this support area to you for a while and we said, okay, anybody, I think it was when we rallied up here where I said, look, it's too late to trade the C wave higher. Yeah, I posted it on, on Discord and Telegram. It was too late to trade the C wave higher, but anybody who's looking for an entry point for the long side could wait for a pullback into the wave B support area and then could try to, uh, to trade the C wave higher. But in the short term, there is no setup at the moment for higher. What we would typically do when we try to trade a C wave in a wave two, because it's a five wave move, it would be reasonable to not be caught in the downward spiral to wait for the the first wave scale into the wave two and then trade the third wave of the C wave. This is in my opinion, the best approach because it could easily um, break down. Yeah. Cause you never know if you, if it's actually going to turn around, this is a bearish setup. So there isn't enough bullish sentiment there, but if you get five waves up, which we can get as long as we're holding above $30, then it could um, it could rally here in a wave one. And then the wave two pullback would give us an indication that the C wave has indeed started. 
Now you could of course start to scale in here to get the best average price. Just be aware that I would not be surprised as at all if the $30 level breaks here. But it is the decision point yeah, between a, a C wave rally and new lows possibly to $10, if not even lower. And um, as you know, knowing these decision points is gold because the closer you can trade to, to these decision points, the better the reward to risk ratio. That's my update about COMP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.